Hey everyone, Brent Coley here, and in this video, I want to show you how you can take the information from a Google spreadsheet and turn it into an app that can be easily viewed on your phone. And you can do this literally in less than five minutes, totally free. And you'll be able to do that using Glide at GlideApps.com. So let me show you how you can do this. And I want to illustrate this using a great example of a staff favorites survey. And I want to give credit where credit is due. My good buddy, John Ike, you can follow him on Twitter at John underscore Ike. That's E-I-C-K. He came up with this idea of how we can personalize appreciation for those in our organization. If you're a school leader, so many times uh, we want to do something nice for those teachers or those staff members around us who are just going above and beyond or just, just crushing it. And rather than just bringing in donuts, because as John points out, not everybody likes donuts. People may be on a diet. They don't like something like that. Something like this staff favorite survey allows you to figure out what are the favorites? What do your staff members like? So for example, it's just a simple form here where they could put their name in. How do you like to be appreciated? Handwritten notes. Do you like verbal praise? Do you like gifts? What is it? When's your birthday? Don't have to put the year. Don't have to betray someone's age. What's your favorite Starbucks drink? Your favorite cold drink? Obviously, that's appropriate for work. Your favorite warm drink? Favorite sweet snack? Salty snack? What's your favorite $5 gift card? And if they wanted to, they could let you know your t-shirt size in case you had a, a school t-shirt that you wanted to get, give to somebody. So again, something like this can give you an idea of what the favorites are of your staff members. And when they submit this form, it puts it all into a spreadsheet. So I've put some Harry Potter samples here where I've taken the Harry Potter characters. If they were to fill this out, um, it gives me all of their favorites and it puts it in a spreadsheet like this. Now, the problem is if I was in the line at Starbucks and wanted to give, uh, get Hermione a drink and I was like, okay, so let's say Hermione, here it is up. Oh, her favorite drink is a chai tea latte. The problem with navigating a big spreadsheet like this on your phone is it can be very tricky. That's where Glide comes in. So I want to show you how you can take this spreadsheet and turn it into an app on your phone for free. So you're going to go to glideapps.com and you're going to go ahead and log in. Now you want to make sure, make sure that you're logged in using the Google account that is associated with the spreadsheet. So once you're logged in, it's going to take you to a dashboard that looks like this. And you're simply going to hit new app and I'm going to call it um, sample staff favorites and I'm going to use this on my phone and I'm going to hit continue and I'm going to attach it to from a Google sheet and then I'm going to hit continue again and I'm going to make sure that we're signed in. So now I'm just going to select this is the Google account that I want to use there. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. So again, they are associated. So now it's going to say which it's looking at my Google account. Which one do you want to use? Well, here it is staff favorite survey sample responses. That's the one that I've got right up here, staff favorite survey sample responses. So I'm going to choose this one and hit select. And then magically, look what it has done here. <laughs> it has taken all of the information from my spreadsheet. So I go back here, Harry, Hermione, Ron, Ginny, Fred, George, Neville. It's taken all of that Harry, Hermione, Ron, Ginny, Fred, George, Neville. It's put it all in my phone. And literally what you see right here is exactly what you would see on your phone. So for example, if I were to tap on Harry, look at that. It tells me all of Harry's favorites. So if I'm in the line for Starbucks and I wanted to get Hermione a, a drink and I'm like, what's her favorite Starbucks drink? I just tap here on my phone and I can say, ooh, it's a chai tea latte. So you can see how easy it is to take all this information and put it into an app on your phone. And one of the great things is I can also customize how this is going to look on my phone. So you can see right here, it says form responses. 
Well, I don't want it to say that. I want it to, I want it to be called staff favorites. So now check it out. It's done that right here. I can do different styles. I can do it in tiles. I could do a calendar map. Obviously, that's not going to be um, pertinent to what I'm doing here. And I can click on this one right up here and I can adjust the appearance. Do I want it to be red? Do I want it to be kind of a, a, a bluish color? What do I want it to look like? I can totally do that. You can make it, you can give it dark mode effect, light mode effect, something like that. So, so many different things that I kind of like that look right there because it makes it pop. And the nice thing here is you can even search by, so for example, when I did Weasley, it showed me all of the Weasleys. If I did Potter, it only shows me the Potter. So if you had a hundred different employees, you could search right down to the one that you're looking for. All right, and when you are done kind of organizing how you want it to look, uh, that's it. You can see it's that easy. You would just go up to Publish, and we're going to hit Publish App. And really what this is doing is it's not going to the App Store or anything like that. It's basically putting a website that you would save to the home screen of your phone. And then your app is published. You can see something like this. It gives you a link, but it also gives you the QR code to install. So all you would do then is take your phone, scan that QR code, and save it to your home screen, and boom, there you go. It's on your home screen, now on, on your phone. And then if you wanted to share it with others, check out this little eye right up here. If I click that, it gives me all of the information and if I wanted to share this with my staff members, I could send them the link or I could click right there and actually walk around and have uh, somebody scan it on their phone right then and there. So hopefully this is helpful, uh, a great way to take a staff favorites survey like this and turn it into an app like this on your phone that is totally easy to navigate, um, much easier than having a spreadsheet that you're having to navigate on a small phone. So hopefully this helps. And I wanted to point out that if you wanted a template for uh, this staff favorite survey, you can go to this page that I've created right here at bit.ly slash drive for edu. Basically at bit.ly slash drive the number four edu i've got a google doc with a whole bunch of different templates that you can use uh, if you're interested and right down at the bottom right here staff favorites uh, survey form and if you click on that what it will do is it will take you to basically exactly what i've just shown you here and if you'd like that you just click the use template and it will make a copy into your drive that you can then modify uh, for your own needs all right Thank you for watching. Hopefully it's help, helpful and have a great day.